Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to be showing you the brand new digital reading journal. When you purchase, you get access to four different colours, so we have pink, blue, green and purple. Let me know which one is your favourite in the comments below. So today I'm going to be using the pink one because that is my favourite. But before we get started, if you are using the GoodNotes app, just make sure that you are in viewing mode. So when you tap this little pen at the top and the toolbar turns blue, that means you're in editing mode and that's when you can write on the planner. When you tap the pen and the toolbar is grey, that's when you are in viewing mode and that is when you are able to use all of these hyperlink tabs at the side of the planner. Okay, so let's get started with what's on the first page. So the welcome page, you'll have links to this video and you also have links at the bottom to contact me via social media or email. Next, we come to the index page. So all of the pages that are included in this journal are linked on this page. If you then look towards the side of the planner, we have all of these tabs at the side, which are also hyperlinked. So you can tap those from anywhere in the planner and it will take you to that page. So we've got bookshelf, series, current read, reading log, challenges, and then we have all of the monthly overview pages and a notebook section at the bottom. Okay, so let's start with the very first one, which is the bookshelf. So on this page, you will see you have numbers 1 to 10 linked at the top. So this means that you have 10 pages and you can jump to any of those through tapping the number. Each of these pages is identical, but it gives you space to be able to review up to 120 books. And when you tap on where you would be placing your book image, which is just here, it will take you to that review page. Okay, so let's go ahead and tap on where we will be placing the book image and I can show you the review page. So on each review page, you can fill in details about the book, add in your rating, add in a picture of the cover of the book, a summary, your review, your takeaways, your favourite quotes and if you would recommend this book. If we then head towards the top of the page, we've got back to bookshelf. If you tap that, it will take you back to your bookshelf. Okay, next let's head to the series page. So if we tap the little tab at the side for series. So the series library, you can record up to 120 different series. It looks identical to the bookshelf in terms of you would tap the book cover and you can get taken to the review page, except the review page does look a little different. Here you can note down all of the different books that are in the series, put your series review here, and then at the top, we will just tap to go back to the series library. Okay, so the next page after the series reviews is the currently reading page. So on here you can put in details of the book that you're currently reading, you can put the image, and we also have this little progress bar so you can fill that in as you read throughout the book. You have space for your thoughts and notes and you also have a little reading log at the bottom. The next page along is another reading log. We've then got recommended books library book tracker, book lending tracker, ebook tracker, audio book tracker, and then we've got a wish list. Now say for example you want to be able to duplicate one of these pages. What you're going to do is you want to go to the top of the page and tap the plus icon, make sure after is selected and then tap current template. If you want to delete the duplicated template, make sure that you do not delete the linked page and only the duplicated page. How you're going to delete it is by tapping the three dots and then tapping on move page to trash. Okay, so the next page along after the wish list is the did not finish page. Then we've got upcoming releases, favorite quotes. On the favorite quotes page, we have five pages linked. So you've got lots of space here to put in your favorite quotes. We then go on to favourite authors and again on here you've got five pages that are linked at the top so lots and lots of space to fill in. And again it's exactly the same for favourite books so you've got space to fill in your favourite books, why you like those books and then that is spread again over five pages. So the next page along is the monthly favourite read. So here you have space to put in a book that you enjoyed reading the most for each month of the year. And then we go into the challenges section. So here, this challenges section is also linked to the side, so you can access this by tapping that button. 
And the first challenge that is included is the 25 book challenge. So here you would just colour in each book as you complete that book. Next you have the 50 book challenge, 100 book challenge, we've got an A to Z book challenge, 52 books in 52 weeks challenge, and then we go into our yearly reading goals. So here you can note down the number of books you want to read for the year. We've got a progress tracker which you can fill in throughout the year. You can note down which books you want to read, space to put in any other additional reading goals, your favourite book of the year, and space for any other little notes. The next page along is the monthly overview and these are also linked on the side tabs. So on this page you can note down the number of books you want to read for the month and then you can actually come back and fill in how many like books you actually did read or how many minutes you actually did read. So it's quite good to be able to come back to this at the end of each month and reflect. We've got a reading tracker for each day. So here you can use the highlighter and fill in the days that you've read. You've got space to note down the books that you want to read for that month, your favorite book from the month, your least favorite book from the month, and then space for any other little notes. And then at the top of the page, we have this little tab that will take you back to your yearly reading goals. Okay now, so if we go down to the bottom of the page, we have this little pen icon, which is the notebook section. So in the notebook section, you've got 12 separate tabs. Each one, you can write in the title of what you want it to be about. So say for example, book notes, and then you have a lined page. You can duplicate these pages by tapping the little plus at the top. Or say for example, you want to copy the page and add it into your review section. The way that you would do this is by tapping the three dots tapping copy page, heading to your review section, so back to bookshelf, tapping on the book, then we want to tap the plus, make sure that it's being pasted afterwards, and then tap paste page. And you'll see that that lined page has then been added after that review. So this is a nice way to be able to customize it just a little bit more. And then if you want to delete it, again, just move that page to the trash. Okay, so let me show you how you can add in book covers into your journal. So I'm on the goodreads.com website and I've typed in the title of the book. I then gone into split screen view by tapping the three dots at the top of the page and then selecting my GoodNotes app. I then hold down on the image of the book and drag and drop it into my journal. Another way to do this would be to go to Google, search the cover image, save the image to your camera roll and then use the image tool to bring that image into the journal. So when you purchase the digital reading journal, you get digital stickers included. So you get a GoodNotes file, which is the one I'm showing now. If you are using the GoodNotes app, this is the one I recommend you using. If you are using a different app, then you will have a PNG file also included for you to download. With the PNG images, you would just save those to your camera roll and then import them into whichever digital note taking app it is that you are using. Okay, so let me show you how you can use these. So make sure you're using the lasso tool. You want to circle the image and tap copy. Head back to your journal, hold down with the lasso tool again, and then tap paste. You can then resize that image and place it where you want it to go. Now what I'm gonna do is copy and paste this image onto the bookshelf. So I'm going to place this as my first book. Now sometimes it can be a little bit tricky placing the image directly on top because there is that hyperlink there. So I like to do it just to the side and then tap paste. Grab your lasso tool and resize the image. Place it over the little star and then you can fill in the details below. Now as this was a five star read, I'm going to grab my little sticker that says five star read. I'm going to head back to my journal. And you'll find there is actually this bug in the GoodNotes app that makes some images not appear completely straight. So the way that you fix this is by tapping the image tool, which I'll show you one second. This one just here, tap the image tool, tap the digital sticker, and then just readjust it. And then you'll see that it will look straight. I'm then gonna go and grab the lasso tool again, and I'm gonna place this over the book. So this is the same with all of the digital sticker labels that you have included. You can really use them to customize your whole journal. And I think that looks really cute. 
please don't hesitate to get in touch or leave me a comment if you have any questions at all. Thanks for watching.